favor is incorrect. That is not my evidence. My evidence is yes, I know. Was clear favorism. Clear favorism. Yeah. Look at paragraph two twenty six. Uh, sorry, page two twenty six. Two twenty six. I'm there. Yes. Look at paragraph one thirty six. I'm there. Yeah. Read paragraph one thirty six. In late April twenty twenty three. He learned from the global fund. Where is this learning from global funds? Oh, you just took me there. Yeah, look at paragraph 225 so that you can get to know who is learning. 235 or 225. Yeah, 225. That is the evidence by one Dr. Andrew Mulwa, acting CEO Kemsa, correct? Now, 225. 125, if you. 225. Up here. Which paragraph? Up here. Yeah, submissions by Dr. Andrew Mulwa, yes. CEO. So what is he saying now at paragraph 136? 136. In April 2023, he learned from Global Fund pre-award review report that the long-lasting insecticide nets tender was to be cancelled on account of inconsistencies in the bid evaluation. Yes? Yes. So what, why was it cancelled? The issue would be who caused the bid? No, no, it's not who caused. We are looking at the report. What does it indicate at that paragraph, the, pub, uh, the, the, the issues of the cancellation? Paragraph 136? Yes. On account of inconsistencies. It speaks to the fact that the bid or the tender was cancelled, correct? It does, yes. And it speaks to the reason that it was cancelled on the basis or on the reason of inconsistency, correct? Correct. And therefore, your testimony that it was as a result, a result of favorism does not sit well with the evidence contained at paragraph 136 of the bundle, correct? This, my evidence. No, no, no. I just want you to limit yourself to that paragraph vis a vis what you stated. That the reason for the cancellation was the inconsistency, Mr. Witness, yes? Inconsistencies, yes. But Thank you. Let's go how, on. How is the inconsistency? Let us go how to that, that one, you shall explain in another forum, not here. Yeah.